In today's YouTube video, I'm going to show you guys how to glitch the middle third in cover three or hybrid defenses where your opponent drops someone into the middle of the field. Let's get into it. What is up, guys? Sam from the Zam Madden YouTube channel. In today's video, I'm going to show you guys the middle third glitch of Madden 23. This has been a well-kept secret of compression-based players, in particular bunch players, against any type of defense where there is a middle third on the field. So let's go ahead and break down exactly what you guys need to know about this. We're gonna call our bunch formation to the short side of the field. With this particular tip, we need to do a couple of things. The first thing is make sure that we have the outside third on the short side of the field in conflict with the corner route. The second thing is we're gonna use the point man on a streak and we're gonna use a crossing route to our tight end. That is literally it. From there, you can block the running back. You can put him on a route if you want to the wide side of the field. You can do whatever you want with B as well if you want to create a little undercall here. Totally up to you. So the player I want you to watch is that safety. Note how the tight end crossing route pulls him inside, which allows us to throw the inside pass lead over the top for the one play score. The reason that this is going to get open is because the corner route on the short side of the field that we have set up is supposed to make sure that that outside third stays outside leverage on the scene. I'm going to set this route combo up again for you, and I want to illustrate that the most important thing is your pocket presence. If you can step into this throw, it's going to make for a shorter windup. It's also going to allow you to not have nearly as many overthrows down the middle and you'll see that you're going to catch those racks a little bit more smoothly thus falling into the end zone so this is going to be able to be any type of cover three in the game and this is also going to be something you can utilize against defenses where maybe your opponent has a middle third on the field and maybe could be playing something uh, that is more hybrid whether it be my inverted cover three it's great against that or sometimes it's going to be like your dollar defense where sometimes your opponent is going to kind of roll their coverage so let me show you what i'm talking about here with dollar obviously we all know the db fire blitz meta where we're going to baseline and press but a lot of players will traditionally run some sort of middle third um, and then like an outside third some players will kind of hybridize their coverage just to kind of change things up now, with this particular play, I am going to just for a moment spy my corner so they're not blitzing here. We talk about picking up dollar in other videos before, but I want to show that this concept works against hybridized defenses as well. Naturally, if you were being blitzed, you would use the running back as a blitz pickup, or you could use him as a check down. You could also use the wide receivers to check down on this play. But again, the zone principle is sound. We're going to be able to pull him to the inside, which is going to allow us to rip this throw over his head. You see that we're able to catch this pretty smooth. Now, again, the thing with this is that depending on what side of the field the safety is on, a throw might be a little bit tighter than another. Um, the cool thing about this, though, is that this route combination also doubles as a easy read against cover three. So if you get somebody that is doing a fair amount of like this and we need to actually pick up the blitz, um, you guys can actually still throw your route to the corner. So let's say here in this example, we decide that, you know, they are blitzing. It's like, oh, man, I got to get this ball out. Obviously, you can throw the ball into the corner and get your toe tap over there as well. So this doubles as a cover three beater to the short side of the field. This is also going to be really, really good against your inverted cover three defense, uh, namely in that a lot of times when you face the inverted cover three, which is my favorite defense in the game, um, you're going to get the middle linebacker dropping deep. Now, what I'm going to do here is I'm going to kind of window dress this. I want to set this up as something that we're going to run out of a different formation. Uh, let's say, for instance, that we call something like the single back tight Y off. This is not even a bunch set but I wanna show you how this operates. So with this particular play, we're going to, in this case, set up our inverted cover three. Um, I'll put this middle linebacker into the middle third here and fan out my safeties. Um, now, for the purpose of this, I am going to spy the pass rush just a little bit for you. Um, but what we're going to do is we're going to utilize the inside player on the crossing route. We are going to use the X receiver on the streak, and we are going to basically create motion to create this bunch set. So in this case, I'll motion my tight end over, and this creates the exact same look right so you've got this particular setup you snap the ball and you're going to see here that this route is going to be able to get over the top and inside for that pass lead down the middle and you see that we are open for the one play touchdown because the middle third is deeped out by the crosser so again while we didn't come out in bunch we motioned to bunch and created the same route combo so right here watch how julius peppers who's in the deep middle turns and squats at this point the play is over you know that you're taking the shot over the top of his head and we're able to let this throw rip and we catch it in stride break a little bit of a shoelace tackle 
and we're into the end zone nine yards later for the touchdown. So there you guys have it. This is a very easy, very slept on middle third glitch. Something a lot of players don't even know exists in Madden 23. If you guys like today's video, make sure you guys give the video a thumbs up. Make sure you subscribe to the channel, hit the notification bell. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, drop those below as well. If you guys want more, head over to gridirongameplans.gg. You guys can unlock everything I put out all year long on the website for $9.95. This was a tip that was hidden back in the vault months ago. Something that, you know, leaks out onto the YouTube months later. Customers of the website know in the moment, live, when it drops months ahead of the YouTube channel. So you guys can take advantage of being on the forefront of everything at the start of Madden 24. Go poke around and decide if you want to join us in Madden 24. Otherwise, we'll see you guys tomorrow. Until then, this is Zan. Get in the lab and good luck.